Now this is, I, I'm excited to have you here. This is no small thing that you did. You literally, I believe, changed the face of TV when you, when you put on the Civil War documentary. Suddenly, documentaries start springing up everywhere. <laughs> you created a style that I think a lot of people have, have borrowed from. And in fact, your work is so popular that you yourself have been parodied. Is yeah. that true? <laughs> yeah, you've done it here. The Tonight Show's done it. Everybody's right, right. done it. And most recently, The Simpsons. Uh, did it. Uh, that, that's a high chagrin. honor, I it's would believe. It's a huge high honor. Yeah. I was humiliated by the fact that they didn't have me do the voice because I think they thought it was so hard. So Flanders, his neighbor, says the prayer is the answer to everything. So Homer's watching TV. Uh, TV comes on. Ken Burns presents a film by Ken Burns about Ken Burns. Uh -huh. And I, I launch into this thing about how, you know, I don't have enough money to cut my hair. Right, I've never right. actually seen a baseball game. And he's freaking out. And he goes, oh, God, oh, God, who has created two kinds of clam chowder. Please let me find the remote. And the heavens <laughs> open up, and the chorus comes in. Right, There's right. the remote, and he switches to the Monkey Olympics. Right, right. But, you know. Homer loves the yeah, Monkey Olympics, well, yeah. We, we were just honored to have worked ourselves into the bloodstream of the country. The, like, best, yeah. the best thing is the uh, editorial cartoons that we have. Right. You know, hundreds of them. And the best one is this guy, couple sitting on a, on a, on a couch, bleary-eyed. TV set is blaring, and the bubble over the TV says, coming soon to PBS, OJ, a 2,750-hour documentary. Right. And the bubble over the couple says, Ken Burns has to be stopped. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice. You put that on your own refrigerator, right? Uh, oh, yes, and frame it big. Now, uh, Civil War, uh, jazz, baseball, and now you're doing a documentary ostensibly about what you say is the first road trip across America. This guy named Horatio Nelson Jackson walks into a men's club in San Francisco. He hears people saying that the car will never replace the horse. It's just a rich man's toy. Right. And he plants down 50 bucks and he says, I can drive across the country in less than three months, something no one else has ever done before. Although all the great automotive geniuses have tried and failed to do it spectacularly. Two days later, he buys a car, hires a mechanic. Two days after that, four days after this impulsive wager, he sets off. He's got his mechanic with him. He buys a dog along the way named Bud. And they all three wear goggles. And they're there's this image of Bud sitting up on what's essentially this glorified riding lawnmower, a love seat, no windshield, no top, and Bud has got the goggles on, bracing himself for every single bump in the road, because if he doesn't, he's going to bounce off like everything they carry along the way bounces off. And what people don't under, uh, appreciate, I don't think, is that back then, and we're talking about, this is the early uh, 1900s. 1903, exactly 100 years ago. And so what people don't appreciate is that there's no interstate highway. There's not even a lot of paved roads it's in It's cow paths. It's, you know, wagon trails. There are no maps. People send him in the wrong direction. Some woman sends him 50 miles down some place, dead end. Where do we go to Marysville? down this road, dead end. The family pours out of this farm there, and they said, no, you got to go back. He goes back 50 miles, meets the woman on the horse, and says, why'd you send me down there? She said, Ma and Pa had never seen a car before. <laughs> she just wanted him to drive that just way. Just wanted him to see the thing. <laughs> yeah. And all the way It was through, also the first murder of 1903. Well, well, I, 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 <laughs> I, I think the amazing thing is, is that somewhere along the line, the hard drive of all American males changed because he asked for directions, as, <laughs> Lewis was, yeah. and, as Lewis and Clark did a hundred years before, and they right. got along fine. But I think that moment when that woman sent him down that—that that was it, because from then on, men do not ask for directions. Well, there's, there's actually a, a funny. Uh, we have a picture here. Yeah. Uh, this is from the first family road trip, which which comes along. It's in the film too. Five years after Horatio makes his spectacular, spectacular trip, the Jacob Murdoch family in 1908 leave from Pasadena to New York and we got this great picture of the family sitting in the car with there all the women right folk in yeah. the back and they're miserable. Yeah, look at them. And they're the just The reporters uh, interview the guy and he says, "Well, you know, we he never let anyone else drive. He never stopped to ask for directions and, you know, he always drove more than anyone else wanted him to during the day and they went to him and he said, "Yeah, you know, a man doesn't like to see the sun going down on the horizon when he still has lots of miles behind right. him and the women are just everything we've miserable. come to know now." My question would be, what's the first recorded instance because this happened in my family all the time? My, uh, of a father reaching into the back to try and hit a kid <laughs> yeah, right. while driving. Because we had a big yellow 1970 Pontiac station wagon and they'd pack us all in. And of course, right. we, I was one of six kids and we were in the back starting fires <laughs> right. and everything. Yeah. And my dad would be like, ah! Shut up. Shut up. ah! <laughs> and we'd be back there and this big claw would be just missing us. <laughs> I'm sure you've got, you, it's up to you to find the first yeah, right. historical record of that. Um, I mentioned earlier that your style 
which when it first came along in the Civil War documentary, this is the first time I saw it, was, I, I think, uh, so revolutionary that it's been copied and I think most notably by the E! True Hollywood Story. <laughs> yeah. And I'm curious, did you ever have any idea when you were working on those early documentaries that you would one day bring to America, really, the E! True with, Hollywood Story? With the photographs zooming in and out and the tilting and the panning, right. no, no idea. It's, it's pretty amazing because you watch these things and they're sort of formulas. You can just plug everything into it. You know, they'll go, Mick Jagger, something on Mick Jagger says, but then sex and drugs got in the way. And then they break for a commercial, but they tease what they're going to do in the next section. They have 20 minutes of commercial. They come back, they tease where they've been, and if they you recap, actually, they, they recap. They spend most of the show they recapping. They recap, and then they start you along the way, and then they break for another commercial and tease the thing. So you, I figure you could take that hour show, reduce it to the information they give you, and it's three or four minutes. Sometimes they recap so much that they take you back further than when yeah, they... That's right. <laughs> and your show's over, and you've actually yeah. gone back in time. <laughs> <laughs> we left off that Mick Jagger was born. No, no, we got much further than that. Uh, what I'm curious, though, is when you did the Civil War documentary, you were using all these techniques, but I thought that the techniques matched the gravity of what you were discussing. You were saying the nobility of the thousands of, that died in one hour at Shiloh, and now that's all being used for, you know, Screech had to make a decision, you know? Right. <laughs> Would he leave Saved by the Bell or stick with Mr. Belding? And, uh, you know, <laughs> what have we done? What have we learned here? We've learned nothing. It's all your fault. It is my fault. Uh, well, I'm a huge fan. Horatio's Drive, America's First Road Trip, which is great, premieres Monday, October 6th on uh, PBS. Please come back. Very nice talking to it's you. It's my pleasure. Ken Thank Burns, you. everyone will take a break. We'll be right back.